Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. There is no face coming to this video just because of what I want to talk about. It's not me actually playing the game. I'm just going to be talking over this gameplay I get. I did get. It is the uh, Renetti gameplay I did post the other day. It's a pretty decent gameplay with the Renetti. Um, so yeah, I hope, hope you guys do enjoy that in the background. Um, but in today's video, I want to talk about the new Mastery Camo, which is coming to Modern Warfare in mid-season 3. Yeah, it's pretty interesting to hear this. Um, Especially seeing as the grind for Damascus is probably the biggest camo grind or weapon grind or whatever you want to call it in the whole of the series that we've had so far in any single other Call of Duty game. This one by far is the largest. It takes so long, so many hours, and if you really don't have the time to play that often, you'll probably never get Damascus as it takes around, I'm going to say, 10 hours per gun. So yeah, it does take a long, long time. But this did get posted by someone called Joe Seacott, which is a co-designer of... Uh, co-design director for multiplayer for Infinity Ward um, he's been tweeting about it a lot so if you do have Twitter make sure you do follow him on Twitter and make sure you do follow mine as well link is in the description shameless plug but someone tweeted at him called Newbie Gaming I've never heard of this guy but anyway he tweeted at him anyway and said hey Joe Seacott and apt art peasant I'm just wondering when we will learn more about the new mastery camo and weapon mastery challenges since I'm a grinder it just piques my interest and curious about when it will be added or when I can learn more more about it so obviously he wants answers same as everybody else same as us and this Joe Seacott if that's how I'm pronouncing his name correct I'm not sure replied saying it should be in the mid-season update it will require gold gold to be unlocked it doesn't even make sense what it's typed here. It says it will require gold unlocked for the weapon before it will progress. It will take a long time. Smiley face. So he's sort of taking the neck of it with a smiley face. Um, saying it will take a long time. But I mean, I guess it's good for people who do have Damascus. Say, I mean, it, I mean, we do have the. Um, I forget what they're called. The rank challenges. You know, when you rank up, uh, you unlock a new challenges and you unlock emblems as you go along. Um, we do have them, but. It looks like we're getting something on top of that, and only need gold to have it unlocked. So whether you've got Damascus or not, as long as you've got a gold gun, you will be able to unlock this. Um, so I think that's pretty good. I think it's you know great. It's, I mean, if you only want the camo for one gun, the gun you feel you use one gun, like you only use the MP5, which I primarily do. So to be honest, I'll probably only go for some of the MP5, maybe the M4A1. We'll see when it comes out, depending on how long it takes exactly. If it doesn't end up taking that long, um, I mean. I don't think it will, I think it will take a long time as he says, but if in case it doesn't, um, then I'll probably go do it for a couple of guns. But I only do it for the MP5 primarily, obviously. Um, but that means what kind of challenges is it going to be? Um, you know, it could be kills, I don't know, kill streaks, like get 5, 10 kill streaks with this gun, and then 5, 15 kill streaks. I hope it's not something like that, that's going to make it extremely hard, and I doubt it will be something like that. I think, to be honest, it's going to be kills. Uh, maybe like headshots, I don't know, maybe you've got to get a thousand headshots or ten thousand kills, I don't know, maybe both, it could be something along them, I'd love to know what you guys think, what you guys think it could be, or what it's going to look like, there's rumours it could be a diamond camo, because diamond camo uh, was found in the files for this game, uh, you couldn't see what the camo actually looked like, it was just something called diamond camo and it was quickly removed, like renamed to something so you can't find it anymore in the codes. Um, but anyway, Prestigious Key, uh, a big YouTuber replied saying, If you can spare the answer, will you need gold on the DLC weapons? You get it. Um, and some guy called Achilles uh, replied saying, My take was that the mastery camo is unique to each gun. I.e., it's not like Damascus that requires completion of upper weapons, so you could get the mastery camo for the M4 and be done if you wanted. So similar to what I've just said, uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter. If you've got gold on the gun, then you can advance to get in this camo and getting gold camo for probably your favourite gun uh, at this stage in the game most people probably already have gold camo for the favourite gun and if you don't then get grinding it, sh it should be alright for your favourite gun it's not going to take you too long uh, and I mean if it's your favourite gun then I presume it's not really going to be a grind you're just going to be playing at anyway as, as you normally would uh, and they did confirm and said it is per gun as long as you have gold in the gun you can progress to the new camo um, so pretty much this is pretty much, that's pretty much it really, that we're going to get a secret camo and as long as you've got gold you can progress and unlock this camo but like I said it does leave the question what will happen, like how will it happen, how will we unlock this and what will it look like um, I think it would be a good idea if there was a full mastery camo so if you've got gold for every gun, you've got Damascus then you, after getting gold on every single weapon you got the mystery camo on every single weapon and then you finally unlock 
a uh, another camo. Um, but if I head over to Twitter again quickly and see what the other tweet he did tweet about quickly, he did put replied to a tweet which said. The new mystery camo should be only obtained for those who have Damascus instead of just gold and a single gun. Makes Damascus pointless to grind for if the new master camo looks better, plus it gives a reason to grind for it. Force. And he replied saying, whether a camo looks better is very subjective. Damascus will always be the all weapon status symbol slash peacock camo. The mastery content is about each weapon, so it means a different thing when you see it. I shouldn't take anything away from the amazing Damascus achievement. So, like... We'll probably already know it's not going to be as hard as Damascus to get, which does sort of rule out the fact that we might get um, a full mastery camo where if you get Damascus and all guns with the mystery camo. So I think that's probably going to be ruled out as well, unfortunately, which I think would be good. Um, but yeah, so it might not be as nice as Damascus, but it definitely isn't going to be as hard as Damascus. I think that's what he's trying to say there. Um, but that's pretty much all we've got so far. It's very interesting. I know this is only a short video, but I thought I'd just uh, post this and you know get some of your guys' thoughts, see what you guys are thinking and what you guys think it's going to be like. I've seen a thing where someone thinks it's going to be diamond camo, um, and every hundred kills you get with a weapon, it adds a single diamond onto the gun yeah, until the gun is completely covered. Um, I doubt that will be the case, but if it is, then that will be really, really stupid. I would like to see diamond camo because I do have liked diamond camo in the past years, especially for Black Ops 2. Um, but I don't think, if, if it's as nice as Black Ops 2 diamond camo, then I'm all for it, but we did get some kind of horrible uh, diamond camos over the years, so, like in Advanced Warfare, the diamond camo in that game was pretty much pointless, uh, so hopefully it's nothing like that. We will see, only time will tell, it's mid-season 3, but I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below, so make sure you guys are going down below and hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, and commenting what you guys think, it will mean a lot to me, and I'll see all your comments, obviously, and reply to them all the best I can. Make sure you do follow me over on Twitter, maybe let me know what you think on Twitter, or if you see more news on Twitter, then let me know, tag me in it, or message it me. Same goes for Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram as well, so Instagram and Twitter are both in the description, make sure you drop me a follow. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you are smashing that like button. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.